when I can't find a, a, a bird, or often you hear birds and you don't know what it is. There's not somebody there to say, this is this bird, this is this bird. Um, this is something that you can do um, either on your own or with a group of students with journals. But if you have journals, it's really helpful to get people to write a description or draw a description of the song that they hear. And um, so let's listen to this one and let's try to come up with a short, pithy, clear description of what you hear. Right? Think of tone, think of speed, think of pace, think of things that it sounds similar to you. Um, draw with your finger in the air the sound that it makes the next time you hear it also. Get your finger out. Now put words to it. What does it say? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. 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 Ooh. Open your eyes. Now, now show me with everybody. Show with, Miss, what, with your fingers. What does the sound do? Right, everybody's doing this, mm -hmm. right? So we've got that that sweep in it. All right, so if you were to draw that, and where is it louder, at the start or the end? Yeah. All right, so you could. All right? Mm -hmm. And I like the t at the end, yeah. that helps. All right? And so I'm going to add another ooh in there because it's all kind of slurred together. Now, is it musical? Is it mechanical? Is it chattery? Is it bubbly? Um, is it thin? Is it lisping? Is it, are there any descriptive words of that nature that we could put to it? High pitched, low pitched. So high. Interestingly enough, this bird has what they call a simple syrinx. It doesn't have the double voice box. This is a bird. So, that's... But it, and then consistent. Mm -hmm. Consistent. And how long between calls would you say? 30 seconds. Alright. That is a really good, clear description of the song. All right. Let's compare it to this one. Now, everybody close your eyes and listen to this. Do it with your hand. Think of are there words that you can put to it? I don't think I want to go. <laughs> if it was said, I don't think I want to go, that would sound like different notes each time. Is it doing different notes or is it doing the same? The same. Okay, so everybody, show us with your hands, what do you do for it? Everybody, let's go. Yeah. It's always just about seven pulses, too. It's kind of... Oh, he's da 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 So, how would we draw that? And And what what words would we put to describe that? I would go... Cha... 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 So is the is the original note different than the last one? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Because the last one lingers, it goes through. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the last note feels like it's maybe more defined, like da 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 da. 
Yeah. Yeah. Good thing to impress her here. There's four times. And um, was it musical? Yeah. All right. How did it was what? Staccato. Staccato. That's a good word. Good way to say it. Sometimes I think of trilling and slurring together. Yeah, okay. I think of this as mechanical. Mm -hmm. And so even if you don't know what birds these are, you get yourself to sort of, I, I find to close your eyes, do it with your hand, right? That really helps. Oh, there, now now, now let's, let, let's listen again and see. So how long between songs? Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, between songs. Between notes? But between songs. Oh, I tell about eight to nine seconds. So if you don't know what birds these are, that's perfectly fine. And what you do is you call this mystery bird number one, mystery bird number two. Mm -hmm. When you're out with students, every time you hear it, you can even name them, right? You know, you can even name them after the student who came up with the best description of it, right? So, ah, we're hearing the Sarah, right? And then at some point, you're going to, and then, you know, the kids are motivated to find out who's Sarah, right? And then eventually you're going to see the Sarah bird singing. You can match the song with the bird, and you now know that the Sarah is whatever bird that is. Or it can stay mystery bird number 11. But actually transcribing them this way, you know, you, you go out, you, it's hard to learn bird songs. Have anybody tried from one of those tapes? Right? You know, just, right? But if you're out there in the field and you're seeing, or you're hearing things, you're seeing things, right? If you transcribe it into your journal, you're going to lock it in for yourself in a really different way. Seeing somebody else do it, that's nice. Doing it yourself, it's yours. You're processing it in more ways in your brain. Yeah, by the time you go through all that, you're going to remember that. Mm -hmm. If you put a name to that, you'll remember it forever. Yeah. Right. Once you have a personal experience with it. And what's going to happen is once you've done this, you're going to be walking along this afternoon, and you're going to hear the Sarah bird. And you're going to go, hey, there she is. All right, let's, let's see who that is. And now as you're hearing this, the details of the sound are also more clear to us. We, it's easy to note that, that epsilon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we don't have a visual image of what this bird looks like at all, really. But all of a sudden the sound is really distinctive because we spent time with it. And that is what's so powerful about song. Now let's see, it's getting pretty close, isn't it? Okay, here it is, here it is.